Yes. If I must suffer, humanity will suffer with me. Yeah! Hello and welcome to the second episode of Puma Plays FNAF Security Breach. Who's excited to jump into this with me again? I'm really curious to see if they're actually gonna do anything cool with the 80s aspect. No, they don't. I'm just stuck on a black screen. How about that? Let's just pop back in. Jesus Christ, it takes a long time for the text to, to pop in. Hmm. These turnstiles require a complimentary Pizzaplex entry pass. There should be one located near the main entrance. No. Oh, okay. Fortunately, that complimentary entry ticket does not allow you to enter the fight in the customer service. Oh, fuck me. Ugh, already I'm not really looking forward to this, honestly. Uh, yeah. But I think this game really is kind of bad at telling you where the fuck to go and what to do. No, it's coming after me. Is it gonna scream at me like an asshole? Where the fuck is customer? Wait, is that, do I have a map? I still don't. Great. Oh boy, I guess I'm supposed to use the camera. This ticket doesn't even work. It says good for entrance to the lobby shops. Upgrade options available at customer service. Also good for one free prize from Glamrock Gifts. While supplies last. I wonder what the free prize is. Is it something totally underwhelming? <sighs> Again, it's like, who is this meant to appeal to, like, any universe? What kind of parent is like, and who actually grew up in the 80s and grew up with shit like Amrock, is actually gonna be into this stuff? Like, it's actually gonna be, like, you know, not like my parents who actually did. Do some stuff in the 80s. You know, which, and they're now 50 years old. And I'm obviously 20. One. So, yeah. Again, like last time, is this supposed to be a cryptic hint? Like, this is where I'm supposed to go? Or is this just a collectible? All food machines must be securely stored at closing. Chica has been caught eating from the kitchen garbage after hours. Fire Dave. Ha ha, funny. Like, again, I, I think. They're just kind of desensitizing me with the jump scares. Again, I don't know if this is part of a bigger scheme afterwards. Oh no! No, they're not. They fucking scream at me! Come on! Fucking thing! Get the get the fucking winder box. It's meant to attention because it's not. You can, again, you can just run around like an asshole, like me. Am I just the completely wrong person for this game? Where the fuck is customer service? Yeah, go suck an egg! Stupid chicken. Oh my god. Scream at me, I guess I was in the right... I guess I was in the right location. Uh. This is way too fucking open and glitzy. Again, I don't know where this goes. I've been doing the same thing for like 10 minutes. This is so boring. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can sneak and just sprint at the same time. Cool. See, this is the problem you get when you have a fucking system where you can't just save wherever you want. Like, I get, I get it, it's a horror game, it's supposed to make you feel uneasy, but it's like... I don't feel uneasy, I just feel annoyed because I have to replay this. <sighs> I guess this is the problem you're gonna have, inevitably when you try to translate the formula. God fucking damn, those repeating lines! Fortunately, that 
permanent re-entry ticket does not allow you to enter the pizzeria. You can find an upgrade machine in customer service. I guess this is what this is probably gonna come. Uh, you're gonna experience, you know, when you actually try to translate this the five minutes of Freddy formula into an open space. Is this me or is this just badly designed? Because I don't feel like I have gotten to the quote unquote opening yet. I feel like I've just been dropped into this. Is the machine? It ain't my pass. Gee, wow, okay. Oh my lord, Jesus Christ. Again, like, with the original thing, you kind of have a build up. It's like, oh no, who am I gonna make it through the night? Am I gonna make it through the thing? Here, I'm not worried about that. Here, I'm just worried. It's like, do I have to reload this thing? And, and the, mm, this doesn't even have the fun of like a like a roguelike. Really, even the signs. I wonder how much I'm gonna have to well done, cut out. Superstar. You have access to the lobby. Unfortunately, that complimentary entry ticket. Oh fuck me! customer service. This area is Oh blimey! Christing hell! Oh. Well, now it's running away. I'm trying to give constructive criticism or something. Just anything to kind of make this interesting, but it's like, God. Is something this weird and just kind of shitty? I don't even know where to start. Again, it's like, my, my advice is literally just... Rewrite this entire thing and actually give me a give me an opening where it's like, you know, yeah but, You know it didn't start with like you and the thing and that being a safe location on and having some kind of grounding before the horror ramped up No, it's literally just in your fucking face Again, I don't know if this is in the end just gonna come together and I'm gonna feel like an idiot For complaining about something that's like no, this was actually a hook for something later isn't this the thing? Oh, because right, it ate my pass. I guess I gotta get inside. But how am I gonna get inside? Yeah, go suck an egg. In fact, I'm gonna do you one better. Go suck an egg, dick. Yes, that's right. Go suck Dr. Eggman's egg, dick. Would it just be funny if I put all this in like fast forward? Like, am I supposed to like press a button? Supposed to go here again. If this would have made sense if there was a map, oh my god, no. el chips. I'm supposed to go here, find something. I know what this reminds me of. This reminds me of, of the department still from Burial. Let's see, you know, it's at the million times worse. Oh. Freddy, I found the free gift. Uh, it's a crappy Mr. Hippo fridge magnet? Lame. What the fuck is Mr. Hippo? Again, I wonder if this would be better if it wasn't Let's Playing it. 
And then again, that kind of defeats the whole point of Five Nights at Freddy's, isn't it? Ah, uh, into the thing, get the box. Get on the soundtrack, it's leaving. Just make energy leaving. There's a couple of posters, just send it. Don't lose everything. Don't lose everything. Now I'm straight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I know. I guess screw me for for being here for the plot. And again, why the fuck? This ticket doesn't even work. Oh my god! Shut up. Oh my god! No! Ah, fuck you! Okay. Now let's see this scene again in slow motion. So you see me hiding behind that photo booth. I take a step to the side, still crouching, mind you. Glamrock Chicken rotates on the spot as if to indicate she was going down those stairs or escalators or whatever, and then rotates around on the ground again 180 degrees within a fraction of a second because of what I presume is some kind of arbitrary proximity trigger, although that is just presumption on my part, and then goes into a spotted animation and instantly ruins my run in less than 5 seconds, making stealth officially busted. Oh. I don't get this game. I don't. It's like I can't even explore shit. Cause it just, cause it just doesn't reward me for it. It just, it just screams at me. Like with the, with big locations like this, you ideally want me to like just explore it. And this is this is kind of what I'm saying. Like, why the fuck didn't we get to walk around this when it was when it's you know when it's bright? Oh my god! Shut the fuck up. Like, that's what I don't get. Oh god, and it spawns the chicken. Now let's look at that again in slow mo. Bruh. Busted. Ugh, god fucking Christ. It's really weird and already took. I, I think it's a very bad opening. Yes! The magnet scrambled the machine! Oh man, now it's some kind of daycare pass? That is great news. I will meet you in the daycare. The entrance is on the second floor balcony. This is the game's way of telling me, yeah, that's where you belong, you little baby scrub lord. You don't know how to play this, you loser. Go back to the chess club. <laughs> Go back to the chess club. Ugh. Wow, oh, this is the most participation trophy name you have given a place, Jesus Christ. When everyone's super, <laughs> no one will be. Again, I hope it. I hope this shit gets tied up with the um with the jump scares. Then maybe you can actually have a <gasps> moment from me instead of just me faking it, or like me faking it for a thumbnail. Also, can I actually, like, see the time? Oh, I guess not. I guess it's like an actual smartwatch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, save point. Thank Christ. This is not the way I should have the thank Christ, the save point reaction. I'm not scared. I'm just. Mm. Fuck it. Gregory, I am unable to reach you. Check the daycare security desk for a security badge. Then. By the way, if anyone got. If anyone actually got this far, could you tell me whether or not you want me to play Burry Let's See? Because that's a DLC I really love. I really like this. Stealth there a lot more because it a lot, has a lot more movement to it. It's kind of what I'm missing. Oh god. Oh. Uh, hey, look. This is the proverbial turnstile, I guess. Whoa. Why did it? What did, what did it have like the sound effects of like a jump scare? Oh, that's why I guess. Hello, new friend. You're sure late. Are we having a 
slumber party? Where are all your friends? See what I mean? It's like, who would put this in an actual thing? That's what I don't get. We can finger paint, tell stories, drink fizzy pass until our heads explode and then stay up all night! There is only one rule. Keep the lights on. On. It's gonna open its face and it's gonna be like, ah, right? Security badge, close, instruction card. Get us in trouble. Don't you want to pop a show? Why is the, so the invi invisible wall here? No, no, why would you do that? Lights on, lights on. I warned you. I did I nothing. I did nothing. nothing. The pavement was his enemy. Not a boy. It's past your bedtime. You must be punished. Oh! Uh, Gregory, I do not know what you did. I did I nothing. People must have sent me. Backup generators and turn them on. They are in the play structures. What? Oh, are you fucking kidding me with this shit? Am I supposed to be scared? Oh wait, I can save the thing. Oh. Oh fuck you, now I gotta do all this over again. Oh, I don't want to, this is lame. This is so frustrating and lame. Hey guys, it's me here from the editing booth. This puzzle did turn out to be as bullshit as I thought it was gonna be. Dude, how does opening this even turn off the lights? Basically, I was missing this generator. Another one. Did I ever? Did I ever have this? Again, terrible textures as well. This sucks. Oh fucking Christ! Let me let's, let me scout out this bullshit. Then I learned that these things aren't just random clutter like everything else, but in fact the one solitary object I can interact with. Still qualifies for abstraction. Didn't help me anything, but you know, fuck it. I know it might seem a bit obvious to some of you that this was a tease for that mechanic, but frankly, fuck these one block high things. Clean up, clean up. Fuck the devs, and fuck you. The robot got stuck in the geometry. Oh, I guess it's stuck there now. Oh, I guess I can explore freely. The neurotic robot stuck again. You know, I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm just, no, I'm just gonna say no. He's not. Like, is it? <laughs> ah, yeah, fuck it. Wait. <laughs> no, I still, I still stand by that the game developers are hacks. And the music is annoying. I guess it is kind of scary. I mean, in theory. Oh my god. Again, the music is doing most of the work here. You know what? Fuck it. Let's not prolong this. My mother called me to bake Christmas cookies. Excuse me. Yeah? Huh? Okay. Yeah. Who we isn't family fun. <clears throat> and boom, that's the best way of me summarizing forty five minutes of boring garbage.
Now to continue the let's play. Oh my god, thank you! Pretty the only sentient one. Again, I'm, I'm, I. Oh, great! My battery's dying. We are almost out of time. We need to get to a recharge station immediately. Every hour, the power is diverted to the recharge stations. When that happens, the lights go out. And when that happens, the daycare attendant is free to roam the building. We'll find you. It's a fountain. A fountain is a decorative reservoir used for discharging water. Not the fountain. You didn't see the dancing rabbit lady right in front of us? No, I did not. There is no rabbit at the Mega Pizza Plex. Not anymore. This is crazy. It's like the whole place is trying to get me. I am not. Why? I do not know. I want to help you. Maybe they want to help you, too. I doubt it. For some reason, you're different. I Good agree. news. The front doors will open in five hours. Good news? Five hours? I'm not gonna last five minutes! Do not You panic. won't last five minutes in this game. If we get separated again... And I won't either. Fuck. This. In other words... Fuck the moon! Okay, now I'm back from... The... No, it's stupid. Hi guys, I'm back. I baked cookies. In the meantime... I hope you like these pictures. I think the gingerbread animals came out really well, by the way. And I had a lot more fun with those than with this fucking balls. So yeah, that's just something about the pacing. I just can't get into it. Like, from what I, from what I can see, they probably try to em, emulate the kind of Five Nights at Freddy's experience of like you know each night, blah 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 blah. You get a new story bit or whatever. Oh, oh, oh. hello, hello again. Only here instead of nights because this is all taking place in one night. You just get a bit of dialogue every now and then, which is a terrible way of using dialogue in a video game, but $30 price tag, I do not think it's worth it. I really don't. Fuck!